Hello. In this video we'll talk about support and resistance levels and how traders can use them in the foreign exchange market. As you become more knowledgeable as a trader, you will soon come across the terms support and resistance. But what do these terms actually mean in relation to the forex market? And what do they look like? This chart offers a classic example of how financial markets use support and resistance. Now, let's find out more about these levels, how to identify them, how to use them, and what makes them so important. Support and resistance levels are important technical analysis tools for traders. Levels on charts can be found in any time frame, and these can give a unique insight into how the markets are currently performing. Support. Support can be a psychological point where traders are willing to buy on the expectation that more traders will also buy and the price won't drop any further. Resistance. Resistance refers to the price level where selling pressure is more than the buying pressure, or supply is greater than demand. At this point, traders are willing to sell with the expectation that price will not increase any further. The role of support and resistance levels actually gets reversed once they are broken. For instance, if the price falls below the support level, then that becomes a new resistance level. Similarly, if the price rises above the resistance level, then that becomes a new support level. It's crucial to identify and draw support and resistance lines correctly. However, as with all technical analysis, the areas of support and resistance are subjective and only indicate where other traders may react. You should use support and resistance levels as part of your trading strategy and have a plan of action that explains how to execute the trade when the price reaches your levels.